ActiveX controls, highly configurable, very programmable, a bit more time intensive in certain respects to set up, although this one actually I'll show you in a minute, very simple. You pick it, it outputs the actual value that you've chosen, which can prove very useful in certain circumstances. If you're working with a lot of macros in your spreadsheets, definitely the way to go. Everything about it is configurable. So you can move it, size it, change what's in the list, all from all by code. But actually to set it up in the first place is not too bad. So if I put one on this screen here. So again, you need the developer tab. Insert ActiveX control here. And you can draw it again, same way I just drew the other one. Every time you click on it, you it's just highlights it as if you want to do something with it. And that's because we're in this design mode. You actually have to unclick design mode in order to use it. Now at the moment it's not linked to anything, so how do we link it? You need to be back in design mode. All right, click on here. Now, if you click format control, what you'll see is, well, first thing, you can move and size with cells, but it doesn't appear to be anywhere to put the list in. Now, the reason for that is that it's all in something called the properties box. So if we go on to properties, you can see, now this is what I mean by highly configurable. You have all of these things that can be changed. Not only can they be changed directly by typing in, but you can also change them with VBA code just by saying, the actual code would be combo box one in this case, dot whatever um, property equals and then whatever you want to change it to. But anyway, to keep things simple, list fill range is your range of cells. Now, unfortunately, you can't just do this, right? So list fill range, you have to manually type. So we can see it's B3 to B15. Now you can link it to very, you know, across different sheets and things like that. Um, but we'll just put that there for the moment. And link cell is effectively your output again. So we'll put that at D18, so D18. Okay, we'll close that, out of design mode. And now we have our list and it's kicking out the actual um, name. Now, if you look at this, I. This looks is nasty, yeah. Um, it's cutting off the bottom of the text. And part of the reason for that is that it's set with all this sort of 3D marking and stuff. So, luckily, it's all pretty configurable. So, go back to the properties code. You can go to categorize actually, and then you can look at just appearance things. So, special effects sunken, I'm going to go with flat. So, now you can read it straight away. So, that's good. Uh, border style, we're going to put border on because otherwise when we click out of it, you wouldn't have seen it. So you can see now we've got this border on it. But you can have things like different colours um, of font and actually, although using VBA, you could put any colour font in this. So, whoops, I want to do that, right? So I'm going to put it back to desktop. Back colour as well, same thing, can have any colour of background. Some examples here, but again, you can just program anything, any color at all. If you know, say, the RGB code for it, it's fine, it'll accept anything. Very, very highly configurable. You can change things like the font, for example, which you can't do on a form control. So you can put any, any kind of font, any kind of size, bold, italic, if you wanted in there, you know. And the other thing I think that's kind of nice is that it outputs the actual value that saves having to use any kind of formulas to convert from like the number in the list back bit of an advantage clearly no use for uh data entry though i mean talk about overkill <laughs> you wouldn't really want to do that if i go back into design mode for example and right click you can go view code this then this defaulted to a change event procedure so that whatever code i write in there would um like would run every time somebody changes what's in the drop down so if i move that from saying newfoundland to any other item this macro would run so if i just put as an example uh change there 
and then take it out of design mode. You can see when I pick there, we get that macro runs. That in itself is nothing you couldn't run with the form control, but the beauty of this one is you have a ton of other event procedures. So if I just go again to view code, we have on combo box one, all of these different types of events that we can put code onto. So you could have code run just by somebody clicking on it, somebody clicking on the drop down itself, um, somebody's typing like a key press whilst they're in it, for example, somebody moving onto it or off of it, actually even the mouse going over the top of it, massively configurable um, control this. Brilliant if you're designing, if, in fact, if you're designing your own user forms, it's pretty much what you want to be using for sure. Um, and I'll just show you what you might like, how you might go about doing, say, say that's the click one, right? I'll show you one of these properties and how you might go about changing this. Properties, background color. So the back color here, yeah? So if we take that back color there, which is white at the moment, it's a code. So we're going to do combo box, combo, yeah, sorry, combo box one dot. And as soon as you put the dot, you get some suggestions, but back color equals that when we click on it, right? Now, let's go back here and we'll say we want the back color to be black. This is rather silly, but no, let's try. Um, gray there we go right gray so now we have a back color of gray i'm going to do this and when you click on the button we're going to make it go gray right so now what we've got running is Take it off design mode, clusters properties. So now when we click in it, of course we've got we've got all manner of events firing. <laughs> so it's white when something's selected, and the moment we click on it, it goes grey. The moment we change it, we get this change thing firing. All total waste of time, but <laughs> just a demonstration of, of what we can do. ActiveX controls are going to be total overkill for most everyday needs, but absolutely brilliant for running, you know, heavily laden coded spreadsheets or stuff you really want to pin down. Absolutely brilliant at the very top end of it. Hope that was useful. You know, good luck building your spreadsheets with the drop down lists.